peeps, welcome back to my studio. I've got a whole new palette mixed up and a 14 inch round criddle board. I'm gonna do a petal fling and a bloom on this one if you're interested in seeing how I do that. Well, stay tuned. All my colors will be listed in the video description. I'm using Floetrol and I'm also using a very small amount of Lucas Acrylics Pouring Medium. As you can see, this is on a spinner and the very first step is to add the white paint to this. Okay, in this next step, I'm going to make sure that this does not spin anymore by adding a cup. And then I'm going to grab my spatula to petal fill and then my mixing spatula to fling. So I'm going to start out with just a little bit of gold. Some sky blue. Any bit of blue black, a little bit more gold, a little bit of nickel azo gold, a little bit of phthalo turquoise, and a little blue black mixed with electric plum. And we're going to start with that. Set this right up against the edge. Whoops, set this right up against the edge and fling. All right, so that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to remove my cup so that it's able to move again. And then I'm going to heat it with the heat gun. Oh, I just love those colors together. Aren't they fabulous? Beautiful. And of course, you want to spin it. And you want to tilt it. These are just lovely peacock colors and I am falling in love with this already. Let's go ahead and spin it. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop. This is the part where we go ahead and do some whimsical composition, then we'll do some blooms. Bring you down to the other table and we'll get you set up there. Okay, I have you down on the other table. I'm gonna go ahead and just spin it a little bit. I'm gonna bring my white paint over because I see some areas right here that I'd like to define just a little bit better. So let's start with that. So I'm going to go ahead, add just a little bit of white space right here. Note that I'm wiping off my stick each time that I get into the white so that I don't drag any color into my white. And with the skewer, I can do fine details with this so I can actually bring that white down in here and give it a little bit of definition. Just like that. And you can also dip your skewer in the white if you wanted to add a little bit more definition. So let me bring you down so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I just use my skewer.
just work your way around the canvas. Beautiful. This here looks kind of like the beginnings of a bud for a bloom. So I'm just going to enhance it just a little bit and I'm going to put a bloom right there. At this point, I'm going to go ahead, spin, and then start some blooms. I'm going to tilt this way. And I'm going to tilt this way. So, something I'm noticing about this new pouring medium I'm using, there seems to be more elasticity in the paints. I'm actually really liking it. They're more stretchy. I want to do a bloom right here to begin with. So let me go ahead and bring you in there. So I'm going to start with this purple. Put a tiny bit of pink. A little bit of azo gold. Cherry red. And let me pep that out. Beautiful. Go ahead and define the petals just a little bit. Coming in just like that. It's like a baby bloom. Brand new, fresh, just opening. So I think we need another bloom right here. Let's start with a little bit of purple. Quinacridone Rose, Nicolazo Gold, beautiful Cherry Red, Beautiful. We're going to put one right here on the very tippy top. I'm going to enhance this the same way I did that. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up, so stay tuned for the wet results. Okay, so starting at the bottom, you can see all the shimmer in there from the gold. And then the shimmer from the beautiful purple in there. <clears throat> And that nickel azo gold just dances off of that blue and purple, that sky blue and purple. These are the little wispy parts that I added. And then of course, looks like a little carnation, doesn't it? Yeah, 
Let's get you a little closer. So you can see kind of the shimmer in there. Not too much, just enough. Just enough to give it a little glamour. Do you see how creamy this all is? That Nicolazo gold mixed with the uh, dark black blue and created this beautiful green. I didn't add any green to this. So, and it mixed with the purple and made this beautiful brown. Yeah, I'm, I love that Nicolazo gold. I mean, wow. I hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for the dried results. Thank you.